So Mike doing the part two because I'm a moron with this camera. But now it has been dried. I think so. Naturally dried. So now I'm gonna put on some oil. So now the filter is naturally dry out in the sun. I'm gonna start with this one and carefully apply it. See like like that. I cannot film and then it soaks down on everyone. It's like something like this. Now I applied it on every uh, part of the filter, so now it's just need to stand like this to absorb and we're gonna put it in dry off if it's something uh, where it's not supposed to be and apply if uh, there is some areas where it's not covered, so we'll see. But now the filter absorb it extremely well. And I also want to say that uh, when I'm uh, writing to YouTube, when they put uh, my videos uh, containing bare fitting, uh, they uh, make like uh, age. Uh, they restrict them the videos. Uh, now. Uh, when I write to them, it's a lifestyle and everything, and I want to show people that it's uh, okay to be barefoot and it's healthy, then uh, they okay. So then let the, let the videos be, be out there again. So maybe there's hope. Because, you know, this and this, it's the same. Look how nice it's absorbed. like a commercial this is next level car love I spent three hours now cleaning my filter washing it going in the shower with it tooth picking like this every little fly now put on oil look how nice it is take care of your car guys this is the way it should be you see now I try to find some spots where it's a little bit thin with the oil. Um, I think I cover it pretty good actually. So now it's back in place, clean and shiny, like that, and that goes there. So the technique here, if for you guys that have the Corsa, it's um, to get the, the pin in the bottom, the draination for water, to get that in that um, uh, rubber uh, hole um, and remove that cap. Uh, and then you just jiggle it so you, and, and you can hold the hand while you push it down and then make sure uh, that one also is in place and then it's just to push down to lock it so then I put this on and I'm gonna hold it and bolt it tight so I get this get fully closed 
then adjust it here and put it on and then just tighten that bolt and it should be a startup that I'm gonna film and uh, I just want to say you know a mechanics worst enemy it's uh, the interruption interruption in any way it's bad for a mechanic because you lose focus and start all over and sometimes you forget things like now I forget where I put the last um, slang and cram what I'm here for you know can you can you say uh, can you type what it is what the name is in comment section mm -hmm. here is the engine room now pretty clean look pretty clean look ah let's put this together I don't know about you but for me I need to have them lined up like this and this need to be perfect so now it looks like this the same here lined up like that and close that's gonna tighten them and uh, clean a little bit and that one then we should do a startup and for you really car guys I know this is broken I'm gonna order a new one Original from Chevrolet, of course. So, last bolt. Yeah, now we're good to go. Just clean this off and do a start up. I can hear it breathing much better at once. Easy. American V8, only way to go. It runs pretty smooth. I wonder if we can get some sound from it. This car has no COVID, no asthma anymore. Breathing like a camera is supposed to breathe. So, okay, over and out, guys.